Tip Tuesday. Tip Tuesday is for me is when I come on and I either post it on um, Next Top Glamour's Instagram account, which please follow us at NXT STP G L A M O U R, Next Top Glamour. And please tag us in, in your videos and stuff. But um, I go on there and I post tips, whether they're business tips, um, skincare, makeup, hair, whatever, any type of tips that pop in my head or that I've learned on my in my journey. And like for today, this is Tip Tuesday. I want to go ahead and give y'all a tip for today about staying organized. And the reason why I want to come on today and talk about staying organized is because I I I realized that I'm not as organized as I should be. And I, I was trying to think of, I was like, wow, what am I using to keep me organized? And how am I going to stay organized? Because I have so much going on. So I remember I have three things that I use mainly to stay organized, which is my cell phone. I have a planner and I have a to-do list. And I and guess I'm you could say it's a lot. for forgetting doctor's appointments. And what I'll do now is when I go to my doctor's appointment, I'll, um, cause m matter of fact, I had a doctor's appointment last week and I remember I pulled out my phone cause I didn't have my planner with me and the lady was telling me my next appointment. So I made sure I pulled up the date to make sure I didn't have anything going on that day that they selected. So I could, and also to put it in my phone so I could remind myself. So I typed in the information as the lady was giving me my appointment date and my time. I put it in there and then saved it. That'll help me remember because by a couple of weeks from now, I'm not going to remember that appointment at all. I'm going to completely, totally forget it. And I know, and I know that. So it's no need for me to try to remember it. Plus, I have to help remember appointments for my husband, dentist appointments, things of that nature. So I make sure I type those things down. However, if I am unable to put it in my phone immediately, and I usually try to keep my planner with me, I always write it down in my planner in the notes section. I have a, I bought this planner probably two months ago at Staples, and it was on sale for probably I think either twenty or thirty dollars. And it's just the covering on the outside, and it zips up. So on the inside, and it doesn't have a spot where you can hold your pen, but I keep my pen here at the top. But on the inside, you have your what I call the guts, which is um, a year of the insert where you have your days, your months, your tabs showing the months that you have and stuff where you can write down the notes and stuff for your day. And I bought that part for I think 30 to $36, well, 36 to $40. And that, that goes inside of here. And this is just the first half of the year, which is from January to July in here, if I'm not mistaken. I think I have July in here. Yeah, I have, nope, I think I have August in here. Yeah, because it only could fit up into, I think, yeah, it only fit up to June in here at the time. I don't even have July in here yet. So, yeah, I have June in here, but that's all it could fit. So, from January to June, I have that in here. And then once I fill that out, I will take this out and then put July to December in here. Because, unfortunately, it could not hold the whole thing. It has a pocket on the inside and what have you. So, when I'm at certain places and I'm unable to type in my information in my phone quick enough, I'll pull out my planner. There's a note section in here. I'll flip to the note section and jot it down real quick. Jot down the time, date, and like the little abbreviation of what I what information I need. And then I'll put my pen back up, seal up my pen, and go about my way. And that's pretty much what I do. And then later on when I get a chance to sit down, I'll go back through that note section of my planner and put it in my phone and set alarms for them for later on so that way I know and then I'll write it on the right date in my planner so that way I'll know also. My last thing that I use to stay on top of things and stay organized is I have a to-do list. Now I use this. This was um, created for me at a job that I used to have that um, I used to work for a printing company a long time ago and um, they're no longer in, in, in business unfortunately but um, they created this for the employees that worked there and it was a two it was a little um, pad notepad type deal that had um, it was like a to-do list 
and it was much thicker than this. I actually tore this in half and I have half of this blank um, to-do list at my full-time job on my desk to help me keep up with projects there and meetings and things that we got to go on and deadlines and this one I keep here. This one I haven't been using as much as I should because I, lo I thought I had lost it or threw it out when in actuality um, I had it up under some stuff. So I pulled it back out and I was like, oh gosh, I needed this. And what I'm using, I'm going to start using this for, is for short-term and long-term projects, um, which will be on my to-do list side. Excuse me, the other side would be for phone calls, like returning phone calls to vendors or to um, other businesses that I need to speak to, conducting business like that, following up on phone calls. And then on here is appointments, which I won't be writing appointments down on here unless I have to. But I'll be like keep, keeping other little appointments or times of projects that I have to um, complete. And what I'll use this for is like to follow up to see that I've completed my day. So what I'll be doing here is writing down my long and short-term projects. Like my short-term projects are projects that need to be completed within a day to a week, maybe two weeks. And then long-term projects are like two weeks, two months away. And I'll try to keep up with that. And as I check them off, I'll check them off as they get completed. And or if I need to do some more follow up, write down the follow up, check off the one part I completed, and write up for another follow up. And I'll check this at the end of the day every day to see what has been accomplished and what has it, and check it off or make modifications, and put down deadlines and things. And I have to do this. I'll use this for both personal and business. So those are the three things that I use to stay organized. And it has, they help me. I know a lot of people say, well, why don't you just use your phone for everything? Because I don't type that fast in my phone, for one. And two, some things I just want to write down because I know I can commit it to memory a little bit better if I write it down first. And that way I can write it down because I may not be in a spot where I can, you know. And, and I also use my voice recorder, too, on my phone. So that helps also, but a lot of times I forget to go back and get the information off the voice recorder, so I don't use it as much as I used to. But I use my planner because I can jot it down right quick in my abbreviations because I have little abbreviations for everything, it seems like. And then I can sit down when I have time to actually put down detailed information about the appointment. I can put it in my phone, save it, and set an alarm to remind me later on about the appointment. So that way I don't forget. And that way, because I, I set my alarms usually an hour to a day before the actual appointment is due. So that helps me out a great deal. But that's what I do. What do you do? Drop your comment below and let me know how do you stay organized? What what do you use? What apps? Um, do you use a planner? Do you use a to-do list? Or, or do you use a notepad? Not even nothing fancy, just a you no know, pen and paper to stay on top of things. Let me know. Cause you never know. It might be something that I've never heard of or might be beneficial to me. I would love to know. So drop your comment below and don't forget to rate, comment, and definitely subscribe to my channel because there's going to be a whole lot more videos coming because I got a whole lot of stuff coming down the pipe. And I want to make sure I share it with y'all because I'm really excited. So I will talk to y'all later and y'all have a great day.